Welcome to the second video of the video lecture series on project report preparation. In this video, I will take you to the tour of a sample project report of our uh, department and explain you what are the different uh, parts of uh, the project report. And then I will demonstrate how a similar project report is to be prepared starting from scratch, which you typically do. You have the material and then starting from scratch, you have to prepare a similar project report relevant to your project work. So we will have that hands-on session on how a report is to be prepared starting from the scratch if not completely a part of it in this video lecture and the remaining parts in the subsequent uh, video lectures. So this is a sample report which is in front of you and this will be handed over to you, this will be given to you, all of you will uh, get this in your uh, mail so that uh, you can borrow some pages from this uh, report, sample report and then edit them according to your uh, specifications. Now in Word, in Microsoft Word, I'm using uh, Microsoft uh, 2010, but the features of Word are almost same in the later versions also. They may slightly differ from one version to another version, but nevertheless, if you find something what I explained missing in your version of project, in your version of Microsoft Word, you can Google and find uh, how you can achieve the same. Definitely the later versions are more advanced. I am using only Microsoft 2010, so which is a basic version. So advanced versions will not only have the features what I show here, but they will also provide uh, uh, much advanced features. So your project report begins with uh, the cover page. So this is the cover page. And to better understand the structure of the report while preparation also, not only while watching this project report, but also while preparing the project report, I advise you to go to the view tab. And then in the view tab, select navigation pane. So this is a toggle button. So if you select navigation pane, on the left hand side, you will see the navigation window and the navigation window reveals the structure of your document. This navigation window once again has two tabs. One is, you can see the structure section wise. So you have the introduction chapter, you have the literature review, and then, of course, this is a dummy report, so I just copy pasted some uh, contents. So you have a third chapter, and then you have sections 2.1, 2.2, 2 and 2.2 has once again subsections 2.2.1, 2.2.2. So the structure of your document is revealed, and it will be very handy when you are uh, editing your uh, project report. So always choose the navigation pane in the view tab of your Microsoft Word. Of course, this is only one view of your document. If you want, you can go have page view also. You can have a page view where each page is shown. So you can just browse through the pages of your uh, report. And then now and then to have a overall view of your document, you can go to the file and then see the print view of it. So you can navigate. Uh, this is not a reading mode, but this gives you a print view how the report is going to be printed so that you can see whether each page appears properly or not. For example, in the print view, I can check whether uh, the cover page 
is within itself is it properly formatted and then browse through the next pages certificate page in our project report we have the cover page followed by the certificate page and then in your certificate page you have the signatures of your uh, guide and the head of the department which will certify that this work is done by this batch of students and the third page is a declaration made by you saying that uh, this work is purely meant for the award of uh, undergraduate degree of bachelor of technology in computer science and engineering of acharya nagarjuna university so it's some kind of a declaration made by you and then the declaration is followed by acknowledgments so these are all the front pages what i referred to in the first video and you also see that they are numbered in roman numerals acknowledgement is numbered as roman numeral 4 let me go to the page declaration it is third page you can see at the bottom and then the certificate is the second page you can see at the bottom the second page and then the cover page is counted but not numbered because if the cover page is numbered it looks so odd so the cover page is not numbered but anyhow it's counted as a front page so this is your uh, second page this is your third page this is your fourth page acknowledgments then you have the table of contents starting from the fifth page and of course if the table of contents is large it may extend to two or more pages because this is a sample report this is a small sample report the contents are limited to one page but otherwise in your case they may extend into multiple uh, pages so the title uh, the content page appears in its own style and if you look at the contents page you see that it is automatically generated but it is not typed had it been typed probably it wouldn't have shown that much of uh, consistency and style so we have introduction and then first section another sub section sub section and then second chapter uh, sub section section name in your actual uh, project report you will have meaningful names i here i have kept only place holders just to reveal the structure of the document and uh, sample contents of the document so the contents page which may extend to one or more pages and then you have on a new page list of tables i have kept only one table so i find the list of tables and then list of figures uh, probably list of figures may appear first and list of tables may appear uh, next and then the content pages start introduction this is the title of the chapter and then as i said in the first video i have a brief introduction and then 1.1 the first paragraph unindented unindented the second paragraph and then subsection in 1.1 which is 1.1.1 this is the first paragraph this is the second this is the third second and third are indented by one right tab and then a table table is numbered as 1.1 the caption of the table appears at the top and then i have another subsection 1.1.2 the second subsection in the section 1.1 and once again you see body text here first paragraph and uh, you have the second paragraph okay indented and then the second section 1.2 so this is how you have the sections and uh, sub sections and you see that at the bottom this is numbered as arabic numeral 3 the previous page arabic numeral 2 the previous page arabic numeral 1 so that way the chapter contents are numbered in arabic uh, numerals 4 and then the second chapter so automatically the section name in second chapter is 2.1 and then another section 2.2 and then
Okay. So that is the print view. And you may also have another view because these views will uh, you know greatly simplify your uh, effort of having a look at the document and making necessary corrections. In 2010, of course in later versions also it is there. Uh, in later versions it is only print view but here it is a full screen reading view. This view is very flexible in 2010. So you have, uh, this is a full screen reading view once again, which will give you a feel of your document. You can have a look at the document. If you want, you can edit also from this view. But of course, there are some settings that have to be done for this uh, full screen reading view, view options. The first thing is show printed page. You want to see the page the way it is to be printed. So if it is not chosen, you will not see the actual way, uh, actual page structure. So choose this. Only if you choose show printed page option, then you will have the perfect uh, view of your page, how it is going to be printed. And then you can see one page at a time or two pages. Looking at two pages is uh, better so that you can quickly browse through your uh, document. And this view can be taken at any point of time while you are intermittently editing your document. It's not that you take this view only at the end. So intermittently also you can take the view and see whether things are properly structured or not. If any structuring uh, rule is violated, then you can immediately correct it rather than waiting till the end. And then if you want, you can allow typing also. Of course, allow typing is not meant for actually typing here, editing. Editing is better done in the normal view. But if you find that a few blank lines are there between uh, sections and subsections and some sections are displaced, some images are displaced, there is a lot of space before an image, after an image, by, by chance you have pressed the enter key or space bar many times. So uh, to remove such higher level, um, you know, elements, blank lines, for that you can choose the yellow typing. Okay, so that you can edit your documents. So now you with the help of the arrow keys, you can move back and forth. So I am moving to the left. So this is where the cover page and the certificate page are. Declaration and acknowledgement page, contents, list of figures should come first and list of tables should come next normally. And then the introduction page and then uh, the introduction chapter is over, then literature review chapter, the figure uh, is uh, 2.1. It appears properly and three introduction. So I don't find any offending uh, structural violations. And then at the end I have the bibliography. I have given only one citation. That is the reason why I have only uh, one uh, entry in the bibliography. You can close this and uh, go back once again to your print layout. This is normally print layout. So these three views are often useful to you while uh, you are uh, editing the document. And now as I said, I have uh, taken you through the tour of uh, a sample project report of our department. Now let us uh, in this video start uh, preparing uh, a dummy project report or a sample uh, project report based on which you can also edit your uh, project work. We will start from scratch and then uh, in this video we will look at, we will look till the extent of editing front pages and in the next video probably we will see the editing of the content pages, chapters, 
sections and then subsections. So I'll create a new document. So I'll open Word and then say new, new document. Now I am taking uh, through the process of actually editing a project report. So you can follow the same to prepare your report. And as I said, every project report uh, begins with uh, a cover page. So we already have given you the cover page design. So this project report, as I said, will be sent to you through your mail. Will or it will be made available to you. So what I do is, assuming that I have received this from the department, I'll copy the cover page. I'll copy the cover page and then you go to your project report and then you say paste and while pasting you have multiple options keep source formatting and then image formatting and then text but before you copy the cover page there are initial settings that are to be made what are these initial settings the initial settings are the page layout because you are going to print your project report on A4 sizes, papers. So we go to the page layout tab. And here the letter size is uh, selected. Instead of that you have to select page A4. So this is A4 page size. So now your document will consist of all A4 size pages. And then one more important aspect for the initial setup because this setup is common for the entire document. So the margins have to be custom margins. So the margins are the space around your page. Normally in the examination when you are writing your answers, you draw margins, left margin, top margin, bottom margin and right margin. And between those four lines, you will start writing. Similarly here also you have margins. Top margin is one inch left margin is 1 inch, bottom margin is 1 inch, right margin is 1 inch. So these margins are perfectly alright for us, they are acceptable. The only change you have to make is to change the left margin. So that is the reason why I have selected custom margins. In the margins group, I have selected the custom margin. So custom margin means I want to change the margins according to my choice. So this left margin is made as 1.5 inches. Of course it is quite obvious why do we make the left margin larger because you are supposed to bind your uh, document. So binding takes a space on in the left margin because all the pages are binded together. So you will not be able to you know see the contents if they start very close to the left uh, um, uh, what do you call edge of the page so you leave better 1.5 pages so that at least 1 inches will go for binding and the 0.5 inches is comfortable enough so that uh, you can start reading from left to right so the left margin is made as uh, 1.5 inches this is the standard practice which has to be followed for our department report so now you find that uh, the margin is 1.5 inches, this width is 1.5 inches. I found that in some of the versions, uh, the dimensions are in terms of centimeters. So what you can do is you can Google and uh, see how you can change the units of your dimensions in your uh, Microsoft Word. So you can go to the settings you can go to your options and settings and there instead of centimeters if you choose inches automatically everything every dimension will appear in inches so that you will feel comfortable to work in inches because I am also explaining in terms of inches. And now let's come back I have already copied the cover page from the sample report given by the department. So I right click here and then I say keep source formatting. 
because our department cover page has a standard structure we should not meddle with that so we have to keep the source formatting and then click on keep source formatting so this is copied as it is and please observe the cover page don't think that by copying the cover page your job is over no a project report on here there is a dummy title a dummy title in two lines your title may be two lines or three lines i am not sure but the title is centered so don't meddle with that formatting and then you replace this placeholder by your actual project title so this guidelines for the preparation of project thesis department of csc is to be replaced with your actual title and then of course let's go through the lines submitted in partial fulfillment for award of bachelor of technology degree in computer science and engineering seems to be fine that's the common text for everybody and then you have uh, five names here so you have to fill these placeholders by the name of the project mates and their register numbers here dummy names and dummy register numbers are given so if you have only three students in your batch remove this line and because you are removing this line maybe here you can enter one additional line so that the overall structure does not get damaged so if you have four names you can uh, remove this line and keep a blank line there so that the structure does not get affected so normally you will have three or four or five names so if four names are there remove this if three names are there remove this if two names are there remove the second and third line if there is only one name then you can remove the first line and second line so that you can have one line i don't think anybody any batch has uh, six names so you have completed copying the cover page and then i said the cover page should not be numbered and other pages should be numbered they have to be roman numerals you have to use roman numerals in numbering so you see that uh, each page has to be formatted in a different way even in front pages so if you want to be able to localize formatting to a group of pages i don't want to treat every page uniformly i want to have a group of pages to be formatted in one way and another group of pages formatted in another way then the microsoft word gives you an option of creating sections you know section is a group of pages which are formatted in a similar way so that you can handle formatting in a better way so in page layout tab where you have just selected your margins and size you find that there is a button called as breaks so i keep my cursor here 2020 2021 and then select break and create a section break next page section break insert a section break and start the new section on the next page because i want to treat my cover page differently from other pages i want to keep my cover page in one section of my project report and uh, other pages in other sections probably so i click on this i created a new section so i go to the home tab okay and then i will copy the second page from the report that has been given by the department never forget to fill the place holders the guide name has to be replaced here and now the certificate page goes like this department of computer science and engineering logo and then the signature uh, placeholders 
of the guide and uh, head of the department so you go to your project report and then right click and copy it keeping the source format you might be wondering that this is automatically numbered as 2 this is automatically numbered as 2 because your sample report has been already formatted like that even if it is not formatted like that you can assign a roman numeral starting from 2 on your own in your report let me show you how to accomplish that bring the cursor to the footer area this is called as the footer area the top portion is called as the header area and this is called as the footer area so bring the cursor here and double click i will close header and footer i will do it once again just double click it so automatically header and footer tools tab will open the design tab and which header and footer and here in footer similarly you will have header also let me show you reveal the header also the header header section footer section section 2 ok header is same as previous footer is not same as previous if you see you can very easily observe this if I click in the header I will say link to previous means the header is similar to the previous page but the footer is not linked to the previous the footer is different from the previous page or from the previous section how did this happen this happened because I have already done in our sample report that's what I am trying to tell you even if it is not done you can do it on your own that's what now i am demonstrating so you go to the footer section of the certificate page what you have just copied go to page number now i am deliberately removing this so that you will learn how to do it on your own the first thing you have to do is it would be linked to the previous section first of all you unlink it so if you click on this link to previous it will become unlinked so now it is unlinked already so go to the page number bottom of the page bottom of the page center and then format page number number format 1 2 3 and then start at 2 so if I say start at 1, it will start at 1. If I say start at 2, it will start at 2. I, I started at 2 because I have to count the cover page, but uh, I should not give the number. So all these things can be done by you. For example, when you are doing it on your own, it may be Arabic numerals initially selected. Initially selected. So what you do is as soon as this dialog opens, you go to the roman numerals and then if it says continues from previous section you say no don't continue from previous section if you want you can continue from previous section for example for the subsequent pages you want to continue from previous section so for this page because this is the first page that is going to be numbered though it is the second page it is the first page that is going to be numbered i'll choose started and then select a value of 2 and then say ok so it becomes 2 and then I will close header and footer it becomes normal I come to the next page and then go to the department project report and this is declaration ok I will copy go back to my report and then I will create a section break here or I will create a section break here 
because I want to keep each and every page in a different section so that formatting of one page if at all I change will not affect the other uh, pages in other section so I'll go to page layout and then break and then next page so I have come to the next page going to the next page is different creating a section on the new page and going to the next page is different please remember that normally what we do is we don't uh, regularly use sections you keep on typing your editing your document you move from one page to another page we are not doing that now what we are doing is we are creating you know a section and then you are going to the new page or the first page in that section a section is going to be created starting from the new page that is the next page so now I am not sure whether I copied yes I copied this so I will come here and then paste by keeping the source formatting this is my declaration this is copied and this is automatically numbered as 2 but this is not two. So what I do is I have to once again double click in the footer page and then I said link to previous because they have to be continuously numbered. I am not unlinking it but remember the certificate page is uh, delinked from uh, the cover page. But the declaration page is not delinked from the certificate page because they are in sequentially numbered so page number format page number which is already there in roman numeral format i'll say continue from previous section and then say okay so that will become three and now i close header and footer so the declaration page And there is one more useful uh, uh, button in the home tab that is show and hide your formatting symbols. So let me go to the first page. These are all paragraph marks. So every line is a paragraph because you have pressed entered at the end. Paragraph, paragraph and you see section break is there here. On the next page, a section break is created. New section has started. Then paragraph marks. And then a section break is there. Declaration. That's all. That's what I have uh, formatted so far. Okay. This is uh, right justified. So there is a section break here next page i also have created another section break here so i will come here okay now if i click on this i can hide those formatting symbols so formatting symbols are very offending to us but formatting symbols are very useful if you want to know if something is going wrong then what is the reason for it is there any hidden formatting that is creating a problem in that case you can always use this this is very handy and then let me go to the department given project report let me see what is there next acknowledgement space is there so let me copy the acknowledgement page please don't forget on all these pages there are placeholders name of the principal is there head of the department is there your guide name is there so please fill all those uh, placeholders name of the principal for example here and then name of the guide and designation of the guide so these placeholders are to be properly filled so come to your project report and then without changing the formatting this got violated so this is right justified so let me write justified press enter left justified these three buttons are used four buttons are used for left justified center justified right justified and justified on left and right 
this is the justification most of the time we use left and right justified okay acknowledgement page has been copied and now let me once again go to the page layout and create a break next and here i'll have table of contents if i am right let me see yeah table of contents but the table of contents is not ready for me now so what i do is i'll say table of contents i'll just write a placeholder so that at the end table of contents enter and create a section break and then i say list of figures you find that this acknowledgement page is numbered in arabic numerals though i said same as previous i wonder why it happened because i have created a new section that is the reason why it is happening so i'll say page number format page numbers continue from previous page but they are not arabic numerals they are roman numerals continue from previous section now it is numbered as 4 this also please keep a an eye on these things format page numbers because whenever you create a new section unfortunately in word the numbering will go to arabic numeral style that is the problem this is okay this is list of figures i have to complete it list of figures please load break and create the next page once again the page number problem did it come up no no it did not come up and then list of tables list of figures and list of tables and uh, next page this is where uh, you will start your chapter contents if i am right so contents list of tables list of figures i have uh, changed the order list of figures first and list of tables then you will have uh, introduction so you will have seven front pages so let me see in our report also did we get seven uh, front pages yeah we got seven front pages so we'll start the chapter contents and uh, thank you for watching this video and we will see how to format the chapter contents in the next video